public a peek in at some of the former president's UFO files, but some of the juiciest ones are still secret. Okay, we're talking this morning with UFO enthusiast and truth seeker Grant Cameron, who is live in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Grant, thanks for joining us. So the Clinton Library is offering a peek at the UFO files during the Clinton presidency. What is it revealing? Yeah. It's revealing uh, basically what I expected it to reveal. Um, it's talking about uh, uh, the Rockefeller Initiative. This is the stuff that I'm after. Um, when Bill Clinton was in office, uh, 1,000 pages of files were released by the office hit from his uh, science advisor. Right. And these are the basis of the FOIA requests. Sure. And uh, FOIAs are, are notorious for not really revealing too much. Uh, we've gotten some photographs. We've gotten some confirmation right. of the stuff that I already Grant. had. Uh, let me ask you this. They have withheld, however, some, uh, some documents that have the uh, uh, subject lines like X-Files and Area 51. Why aren't they giving up the emails that say Area 51 on them? <clears throat> Uh, that's a strange one. That's uh, John Podesta's files. John Podesta was the chief of staff for uh, President Clinton, and he uh, was notorious for open government trying to get stuff declassified. And now five, I think it's five pages of the 31 that they had on him have been withheld. We really don't know why. All you can really do is appeal it. All right, but Grant, um, hold on a second. Saying, I mean, uh, but Grant, just, just forget about the FOIA request and forget about all of the, the minutiae that you've gone through to get it. Have has it been revealed that they have actual evidence of UFOs in terms of pictures or documentation? Uh, Bill Clinton has nothing. Bill Clinton said openly in Hong Kong in 1995 that he tried to go after the story about Roswell. He wasn't able to get anything. I'm probably not the first president that's been kept in the dark. Uh, the Clintons uh, worked on this uh, based upon a request from Lawrence Rockefeller. It was the Rockefeller Initiative. He came to the, the Clintons, tried to get uh, disclosure. The, the Clintons made efforts to try to help Lawrence Rockefeller. They were not able to get anything. The Clintons are in the dark. Oh, All that the FOIA material is going to reveal is that, I think, to confirm the fact that the Clintons tried to get the answer and were unable to get the answer as to what's actually going on. Interesting stuff. All right. Uh, Grant Cameron joining us today from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh, one. Uh, so what, what, what do you think the fascination was, Grant, with the Clintons and UFOs? I gave a lecture in Arkansas at one point, and uh, someone came up to me. Unfortunately, I didn't take her name. I just listened to her story. She said that the Clintons, or somebody close to the Clintons, had had a sighting in the late 1970s. Uh, it's fairly well known that Bill is very interested, as are most presidents, as are most people, in the subject. It's sort of a, a thing that you watch. It's very interesting. Okay. I think that's basically... Uh, the bottom of it. So, but, but hold on a second, Grant. Now that you've done all of this Freedom of Information Act inf information search, are you satisfied or are you going to keep digging? Do you think there's more to the story? Oh, there's more to the story. I have about, uh, I don't know what it would be, 75 FOAs. Only 12 have been released, and most of the ones that have been released are dealing with photographs because photographs are very easy to process. Uh, FOIAs are a very complex thing to process. They take an awful lot of time. I just got one from the Reagan Library yesterday from July the 17th, 2002. These things take an awful long time. And I think that they will reveal very little. Uh, the, the documents that we already have, the 1,000 pages from the Clinton Science Advisor, are very revealing documents to show uh, the fact that the Clintons were very in, involved, very interested, and tried to get to the UFO secret. Okay, very good. Uh, Grant Cameron, we thank you very much for joining us today from Canada.